Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is May 23rd, 2024. We are in the Old Testament book of Isaiah. We're going to read chapter 65 today. Uh, see, my little pericope in here. The righteousness of God's judgment. That's a pretty good summary of, of what we're getting ready to read here. The righteousness of God, God's judgment. I, we, we believe in a God that's holy, holy, holy. Holy, he's without sin. No sin anywhere in God at all, period. He cannot abide sin at all, period. How about just a little bit, a smidge, limited? None at all. And that's the problem, because we love, we don't just love a little sin, shame, we love lots of sin. And we want to wrap ourselves in it and embrace it. But the Bible tells us there's going to be a day of judgment where God is going to cast all the sin away. And if we're hanging on to the sin, it doesn't matter that God loves us, we're going to go with the sin. We're going to get cast off with the sin. But, but if he loves me, he wouldn't judge me. No, he loves us. That's why he sent his son. To give us a way to, to get through the judgment. The way to get to the other side with God. We want to let go of the sin. Cast our sin away. Let, the, let our sin die. Let our sin go. And then when God creates the new heaven and the new earth, we can be brought into it. But if we're going to hang on to our sin, then we are cast away. And this chapter makes that abundantly clear for you. If only listen with your ears and, and, and search it with your heart. So let's go ahead and we're going to read Isaiah chapter 65. I was sought by those who did not ask for me. I was found by those who did not seek me. I said, here I am, here I am. To a nation that was not called by my name. I have stretched out my hands all day long to a rebellious people. Who walk in a way that is not good according to their own thoughts. Of people who provoke me to anger continually to my face. Who sacrifice in gardens and burn incense on altars of brick. Who sit among the graves and spend the night in the tombs. Who eat swine's flesh and the broth of abominable things in their vessels. Who say keep to yourself. Do not come near me. For I am holier than you. These are smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will repay, even repay into their bosom your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, says the Lord, who have burned incense on the mountains and blasphemed me on the hills. Therefore, I will measure their former work into their bosom. Thus says the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster and one says, do not destroy it for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servants' sake, that I may not destroy them all. I will bring forth descendants from Jacob and from Judah, a hair of my mountains. My elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, and the valley of Anchor a place for the herbs to lie down, for my people who have sought me. But you who are those who forsake the Lord, who forget my holy mountain, who prepare a table for Gad, and who furnish a drink offering for many, therefore I will number you for the sword. And you shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, you did not answer. When I spoke, you did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and chose that in which I do not delight. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but you, will sigh for cries, but you shall cry for sorrow of heart. And wail for grief of spirit. You shall leave your name as a curse to my chosen. For the Lord God will slay you and call his servants by another name. So that he who blesses himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. And he who swears in the earth shall swear by the God of truth. Because the former troubles are forgotten. And because they are hidden from my eyes. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. And the former shall not be remembered or come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem as a rejoicing, and her people a joy. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. The voice of weeping shall no longer be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. No more shall an infant from there live but a few days, nor an old man who has not fulfilled his days. For the child shall die one hundred years old, but the sinner being one hundred years old shall be accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree shall, shall be the days of my people. And my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth children for trouble. For they shall be the descendants of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. It shall come to pass that before they call I will answer, and while they are still speaking I will hear. 
The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox, and dust shall be the serpent's food. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, says the Lord. May God bless the reading of his word, and may God bless you. Bye.